Hello and welcome to this exam question video. We're looking at AQA GCSE today and we are in question 17 of this past paper and we've got a fantastic question. And if you see this come up on your exam paper, you should be thinking to yourself, what an easy five marks. Because if you can remember just the route that a blood cell takes through the heart and all you need to do is just order these in the set order and you can pick up five marks. So no real AO2 or AO3 knowledge required, just pure AO1 definition, statements, description, understanding which is required. So this is a fantastic question to, to be on the lookout for and where you can pick up a really you know, good chunk of marks for your exam. Now the way it's laid out is it's even given you the statements and all you have to do is order them, but you should be going into this prepared to be able to you know, describe and explain the route the blood takes without these statements. So if you understand the route the blood takes without these, you're gonna be in a much better position because it'll be far easier for you to order these correctly. So in order to explain the answer to this question, we are gonna jump into the whiteboard. Now I've just put the, the heart, very you know, rough drawing here of the heart, which is where we have this window shape um, box of four chambers, and then we have the lungs up above the heart, um, you know, uh, relevant to this picture. Not necessarily anatomically correct, but that's how we can draw it a little bit easier. So, if we start over on this side of our body, we know that we've got our vena cava bringing blood back into the heart. Why is it the vena cava? Well, because it's a vein, and if we think about the spelling of the vein, we've got V-E-I-N. Veins take blood back into the heart. So, this vena cava is bringing deoxygenated blood back into the heart, and it's coming to this side of the heart. What side is that? Well, we know that we always talk about the body anatomically from the perspective of the person. So, in this context, we know that this is the right-hand side, and this is the left-hand side. How do we know which chamber it is? We know that we have atrium and ventricles. Think about the spelling. An A looks, looks like an upward arrow, and a V looks like a downward arrow. So atriums are at the top and ventricles are at the bottom. Put that piece of knowledge together, we know that we are dealing with the right atrium. So blood returns from the vena cava into the right ventricle. It must stay on the right hand side because we are dealing with the deoxygenated blood and we don't allow the mixing to go, to go across the septum. So we know that the blood then travels down into the right ventricle. Once blood is in the right ventricle, we know that we have to try and pump it up to the lungs. Why? To receive that oxygen and to drop off the carbon dioxide. So we know that the blood must leave the heart, it comes up out of the right ventricle, and it's coming to visit the lungs. So we've got deoxygenated blood going to the lungs, and what blood vessel is this? Well, we know that it's taking blood away from the heart, and if something is away, then that means it is an artery. What artery? Well, it makes up the pulmonary circuit. Pulmonary meaning sort of breathing and respiratory function. So it's the pulmonary artery. If I to put PA over there. So pulmonary artery takes blood up from the right ventricle into the lungs. What happens in the lungs? We know that we've got this exchange occurring, this gas exchange of CO2 out and O2 in, meaning that we have now got oxygenated blood and oxygenated blood is going to come down and return back in to the heart. So if blood's going into the heart, think about that spelling, V-E-I-N, we know it's a vein, we know it makes up the second half of this pulmonary circuit, therefore we know it to be the pulmonary vein coming downwards back in to the what chamber? Well, it's the left-hand side, because from the perspective of the person, it's their left-hand side of the body, and we know that A points up, whereas V points down, so it's the left atrium. There's nowhere else for it to go apart from downwards into the ventricle, so it's coming down into the left-hand ventricle. From here, it then gets ejected to the rest of the body out of the aorta. How can we remember the aorta? It starts with a capital A, and A4 away. So if we jump back to the question now with that root all explained, we will come back to this. Complete figure three to show the pathway of blood through the heart during the cardiac cycle. And they've even already given us the starting point and the end point. So all you would have to do is, in your mind, go through what we just did on the whiteboard 
and then look out for the statement that refers to each stage. So deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium. That was our first section over here with the vena cava coming in. If I put it in purple this time. So it's going into the right atrium. Then it would be going down into the right ventricle. So that would be number four up here. Then we need to be able to pass the blood back up to the lungs. So we're looking for an artery in the pulmonary circuit. So we're looking for the pulmonary artery, number seven. The pulmonary artery transports the deoxygenated blood up to the lungs. Why? If we look at our diagram, because we've got exchange occurring, gas exchange. So we're looking for oxygenation or gas exchange, which would be seven. Oh, sorry, number one. So that's four, seven, one. Now we're looking to go back into the right atrium. So if we have a quick look, passes the left ventricle, no, because that's at the bottom. Deoxygenated blood, no, because we want oxygenated. We want the pulmonary vein because it's taking it back into the heart and it's oxygenated and it's going to the left atrium, which is this stage here, which leads us with one more, I believe, or two more actually. The oxygenated blood passes into the left ventricle because it's coming down on the left hand side. And then our final stage is here. Oxygenated blood is ejected from the heart and is transported to the rest of the body. So five statements in the sequence gives you five full marks. Really easy question to pick up lots of marks without requiring AO2 and AO3 knowledge. And hopefully using that whiteboard diagram and just sort of seeing it in your mind with the colors and breaking down the terms to sort of why things are called what they are. Think about the right and the left hand side. A for atrium means up, V for ventricle means down. Veins take blood into the heart, arteries take blood away from the heart. And then we've got these two vessels which make up the pulmonary circuit, giving the name of the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. And that's that, so five marks to describe the cardiac cycle, or not the cardiac cycle, but the pathway of blood during the cardiac cycle. So I hope it helped, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.